In Korea, General Ridgway, here with Admiral Joy and General Van Fleet, introduces General Mark Clark on the right before leaving for Europe to take over General Eisenhower's NATO command. Then back in Tokyo, breezing into US headquarters, there's an informal ceremony of welcome to General Mark Clark, to whom General Ridgway will hand over the United Nations command in Korea. Within a matter of hours, I shall turn over my commands in the Far East, both of the United Nations Command and the United States Far Eastern Military Establishment, to my successor, General Clark. In England, the Chief of Staff to the Defense Minister, Lieutenant General Jacob, is among those who welcomes General and Mrs. Eisenhower as they near the end of their farewell tour. General Ike, who is a highly favored candidate for the American presidential election, will be greatly missed in Europe, where his brilliant work as Supreme Commander has done so much in uniting and strengthening the North Atlantic Treaty nations in their defense plans. It is, of course, uh, wonderful to come back to Great Britain, where I always meet so many of my old friends and associates of World War II. Mrs. Eisenhower and I are, have been paying a series of visits to capitals of NATO, uh, this one, of course, is to London, where we expect to uh, uh, meet uh, many of the defense officials and of government and uh, to enjoy a day or two here in this great city. Uh, we will be leaving tomorrow afternoon, and at that time, I promise you, I will have more than uh, just a word of greeting uh, to say, at least possibly. If General Ike becomes Mr. President, we'll still have a good friend across the water.